All right, so you've got your video completely done, and let's say that instead of uploading it to Google Drive or to YouTube, that you wanna save it someplace else, that you want you wanna actually download the video file and use it for something like, let's say that you wanna hang on to it and save it on your computer or an external hard drive to use later. Let's say that you want students to be able to download these videos and hang on to them on their devices so they can watch them while they're offline. Well, what you wanna do for that is to click this uh, download button. Of course, right here, we're looking at this uh, video right after we recorded it or pulling it up out of the My Recordings button in the Screencastify Chrome extension. And so once we've done that, we can click on this button that says Save to Disk. And so once you do that, you've got a couple of options. The first one here says Save Video to Disk, and this uses the WebM format. And so that's one option. But my two favorite options, because you have Screencastify Premium, is that you can export to an animated GIF file and you can export as an, as an MP4. And so with the MP4, that's just your standard video file. You can use it pretty much all over the web, you know, uploading to YouTube or to Vimeo, which is kind of like YouTube, or just a variety of places. A lot of the players, like the media players that, that students and teachers and anybody use, uh, support the mp4 format so that's really nice you just click on that and it downloads it right to your device but then you've got export as an animated gif and this is neat because what you can do is with short video files you can turn them into these kind of like moving uh, pictures I don't know if you've ever seen these before I brought an example up here on on my blog uh, basically, you can take a video and turn it into a moving picture, which <laughs> sounds sort of silly because that's kind of what a video is. But in this case, it's treated more like a picture file where you can stick it right onto a page. And then it basically just loops through that animation over and over again. And so you're able to download with that as well, which is, which is pretty great. So that does it for this series of videos where we've gone through how to create and get your get your video finalized. And so now we're gonna switch gears to tips and tricks. These are those little things that are really good to know that help you get the most out of Screencastify.